Good morning, my fellow resident, property-owning, title-holding patriots. Now, unless you're from a suffering city like Detroit, Las Vegas, Miami, or some long-suffering city, this headline does not come as a surprise. U.S. News would like you to think it is. Take a look. Existing home sales post surprising gain in July. Inventory of homes for sale is improving, helping sales volumes. More than that, the price of homes are going up and up. And even the author of this story is admitting the title is clickbait. Take a look at how he does this in just the next picture. Yes! Look at that political cartoon. This is why the price of your home is going up. This is why the price of cars is going up. This is why the price of gold is going up. This is why food is going up. This is why everything is going up. Inflation. Bidenomics. It's because the demflation, it shut down the economy. So, there are even less people holding jobs. But Biden is the printing press is going full blast, so there's a lot more money chasing fewer goods than there was even a year ago. That alone would cause rampant inflation, which it has. Which, by the way, Biden Biden hasn't even addressed yet. And if you think that, well, you're not a homeowner, so you don't have to worry about that part, I've got some sad news for you. You're going to be suffering even more. Why? Because if you're a renter, whoever owns the home or apartment you're living in, well, his property is worth more. He's got to pay more to the local tax man. He's got to pay more for maintenance to keep your place up. Therefore, when your contract is up, be prepared to pay more, in some cases, a lot more. Inflation does not care who you are. It comes for everybody. Now, admittedly, the rich are protected a little bit more, but unless you're in that upper 1%, even the rich are going to be rammed by inflation. It's not just houses that have taken a massive upward hit. And I call it a hit because it's a hit in your pocketbook. A year ago, during the height of the damn panic, well, cars could be bought very cheaply. The lots were full. Dealers were willing to bargain. Not so much anymore. Everybody cut down making cars. And a key component of making cars were chips. And believe it or not, that's one of the reasons why prices in cars, even used cars, have been going up so much. It's like this. The chip manufacturers had contracts with all these car manufacturers for a set number of chips. The car companies all of a sudden quit ordering all these chips, and in some cases even went back on their word on these contracts and said, we're not buying as many chips. Some of these chip manufacturers went out of business and others tooled down the amount of chips they were making. Now, a year later, and people are starting to demand more cars, well, there's not that many cars to be had. The car manufacturers can't ramp up quickly enough because all cars today have multiple computers in them demanding a lot of chips. And these chips, well, they're on back order right now. So a car manufacturer can make the car, he just can't have it work well. He can't have it powering up your power windows. He can't have it using your radio. That requires chips. He can't have it using your air conditioning. That requires chips. Everything that used to be manual controls, most of it now is controlled by chips. It's all electronic. And 
since there's not that many new cars to be had, a good used car, those have gone up in price too. So inflation is biting everybody. If before you wanted to buy a good used car at a good discount, well, a lightly used used car now goes for more than it costs new. When is inflation gonna end? Well, not while Hyde and Biden is in office, that much is for sure.